How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this video we're going to be covering how to update to Windows 11 for free on almost any PC. Whether your PC is fully supported and you are on the latest and greatest of hardware, fully natively supported by Windows 11, or if you are on unsupported hardware and you're currently locked out of the Windows 11 update, you will still be able to upgrade to Windows 11 using this video as I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily remove that restriction if you are running into it. So regardless of whether or not you are on old or new hardware, or the update is supported or not, this video is going to be showing you how to to successfully update to Windows 11 where you'll be able to keep all of your files, data, folders and not lose anything or if you want to you can go for a completely fresh installation that's all going to be covered in this video. And if you do enjoy this video and find it useful please do leave a like and a comment below for the YouTube algorithm as it helps out a ton and let me know of your thoughts on Windows 11 in the comments down below. So jumping straight in into the first step you will first of all need to navigate inside of the description down below where you'll be able to find the Windows 11 download link. This will direct you over to Microsoft's Windows 11 official web page. Once inside of it scroll down and you'll have three options to download and install Windows. If you're looking to upgrade the PC in which you're currently using, whether it's supported or not supported by Windows 11, that doesn't matter at this stage, you want to navigate down to the Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Select the Download drop-down menu, select Windows 11, then select Download. You'll then be presented with the product language, go to the drop-down menu and select the language in which you want Windows to be installed as. So for me I want it to be in English, so I'm going to select English. Then select Confirm. After a few minutes, it will then present you with the 64-bit download. Select this option. The Windows 11 ISO should then begin downloading to your system. If you do run into any issues downloading the ISO, if it says network failed, or any issues downloading it whatsoever, click on this up arrow, select resume, and wait until the ISO has completely finished downloading. Once the ISO has finished downloading, I would recommend placing it on your desktop. What we then need to go ahead and do is right click on the ISO and select mount. Once you do this, this will mount the ISO image to a virtual drive on your system. You can then go ahead and start the update to Windows 11. Simply take yourself over to the setup.exe and double click. We can then proceed to follow through all of the on-screen prompts, selecting all of the options for our operating system and whether we want to keep our current files or go for a complete fresh install. Once you get to the section where it's going to check your PC to see if your CPU is supported and or if you have TPM available, if your PC happens to fail this check and it's notifying that your PC is unsupported and you can't install Windows 11, you can remove this restriction quickly and easily. If you do need to remove the restriction, close out of the setup. If you are going to be installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and you're going to remove that restriction, you do need to bear in mind that Microsoft does not officially support this. Future Windows 11 updates on unsupported hardware could corrupt your operating system. This is completely at your own risk. My personal recommendation for older hardware would be to stay on Windows 10, but if you do want to go for the update, you can do so in this video. We need to apply one quick fix. For this you need to navigate over to your desktop, right click and select new folder. Simply just call this Windows 11 or anything you want to. What we then need to do is go back inside of the folder with the installation files and we're going to drag all of them out into this folder. The reason we're doing this is because we need to change one file with inside of the installation path to remove the restrictions for unsupported hardware. Once you have that folder, double click, go inside of the sources folder, scroll down and we're going to be looking for the A section and we're going to find appraiser res.dll. Once you've found the file, navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on your windows button, type in notepad and open up a blank notepad. Get the file out of this folder, drag it into the notepad. Once you're inside of here, select anywhere towards the top. What we're then going to do is go up to edit then select find next. Make sure the direction has been set to down and we're first of all going to be searching for TPM. Once you search for TPM, select find next. What we then need to go ahead and do is any chunk of text which features TPM with inside of it, which gets highlighted from this search, we need to remove. So as we can see, we've got a chunk of text here which says TPM. So we're going to highlight it, select backspace and remove it. We're then going to repeat this step for every single highlighted piece of TPM information with inside of the installer. This will remove the restriction entirely and allow Windows 11 to be installed on any system regardless of the system specs. You may find some text which has very little information with inside of it, but again, because this features TPM, we're going to remove all of that text. You'll know when you've removed all of the TPM information because you'll select Find Next and it will say that it cannot find it. Once you're at this stage, click OK, scroll all the way back up to the top of the notepad. Once again, just click anywhere towards the top and we're going to be changing what we're looking for. We're now going to type in AMD64. Even if you're on an Intel system, search for this key. Then select Find Next. Once inside of here, you'll then be presented with a big chunk of text titled CPU FMS Blocking X86 AMD64. This is for the CPU requirements. What we need to do is go all the way from the top down to the bottom where it states 
LT S mode allowed SKUs. You'll see this information down here. We don't need to change anything below this. We just need to adjust this block of text. With inside of this block of text, every single line which is marked as true needs to be changed to false. The easiest way to do this is to simply type in false, all in caps, highlight false, right click, select copy. We can then use control and V on our keyboard to paste. So we're just going to highlight true, control and V, highlight true, control and V, and repeat this step until all of these lines which are marked as true are set to false. Once they've all been set to false, go to the top left hand side, select save and exit out. We can then go ahead and exit out of that folder. With the restrictions then removed, for those of you that are going to be installing Windows to an unsupported PC and you failed the check, just remember that we're no longer going to be installing Windows through the ISO file. We're going to be installing it by going back inside of the folder and which we remove the restrictions from and running the setup exe from that folder. During the installation process on an unsupported PC, once you pass the check, you will more than likely be met with this screen here. This is going to require you to navigate to the top right hand side and select the accept option, which means that you are totally liable if for any reason the operating system becomes corrupted or you run into any issues by installing Windows 11 to an unsupported PC. Go ahead to the accept button, select accept, select OK, and the update will continue. You should then be able to proceed with the rest of the setup on any unsupported hardware, so you can practically install Windows 11 to any device. Once you're inside of the setup, you'll then be notified that you're about to install Windows 11. One last step for those of you installing Windows 11 to unsupported hardware, you must go down to the Change How Setup Downloads Updates section, and you have to take this off of Download Updates, Drivers and Optional Features, and you must check Not Right Now. If you do not have Not Right Now selected, and you go to install this, it will install fine, but when you get to the last part of the setup, it will revert it back to Windows 10 because the update will not be able to go through, so you have to have this checked. Once Not Right Now has been selected, you can then continue on. This will then accumulate any drivers and potential updates which are ready to go with this installation. This will then perform a final check on your PC. Once you're inside of this page, we can then go ahead and select Accept. This will then begin to accumulate and get those updates ready for when you install the operating system. When installing, you may also be met with this message found here, just notifying that the language pack may change to the one in which you selected when you originally downloaded the ISO. Go ahead and select OK, and you'll then be met with the final page which will show you that you're about to install Windows 11 Pro and you'll then have the options to keep your personal files if you wish to do so. Select this blue highlightable change what to keep option. This is where you can then set whether or not you want to have a fresh install or just simply update your operating system from your current installation. So you can choose to keep your personal files and apps, keep your personal files only and uninstall all programs or keep absolutely nothing where it will wipe everything completely clean, install the operating system with nothing installed. Most of you are probably wanting to go with the keep personal files and apps section but for the best performance possible simply most of you are running on Windows 10 PCs which are probably quite outdated now and have tons and tons of programs, apps and files installed to them and which you probably no longer use, I would definitely recommend before installing Windows 11 to go through all of that, back up the files in which you need and I honestly would recommend doing a nothing installation where it wipes everything clean. Only select that option if you are happy for your drive to be completely wiped where you will remove all data from it. But if you want to keep all of your programs, your applications, files and all of your data which is installed to your PC but you just want to upgrade the operating system, select the top option then select next. This will then finally accumulate any updates in which it needs to to ensure that the installation process goes smoothly and that all of your devices and everything works once the installation has finished. Once you're done, navigate to the bottom right hand side, then select install. This will then bring you into the installation page for Windows 11 and this can take a little while depending on the speed of your system, how many files in which you're wanting to keep and the speed of those drives. Just simply leave the PC to install the update and you'll then be good to go. During the installation process, once the bulk of it is complete, the PC will then automatically restart to go through the initial setup of Windows 11. Once that's complete, you'll then be booted into Windows 11. If you chose to go with a complete clean installation, you might also be met with the initial setup for Windows 11, which you can go through and personalize for your system. Otherwise, just simply log into your account as you usually would, and Windows 11 will begin to initialize. With that completed and out of the way, this should then boot you into your new desktop where you'll now be running Windows 11. Depending on which option you chose, whether to keep your files or not, will depend on how many files you have with inside of here, but if you did choose to keep your files, folders and personal items, they should all be here with no issues. You've now successfully upgraded to Windows 11. My only other recommendation at this point would be to navigate to the bottom left hand side or click on your Windows button, go up to your settings panel, navigate to the bottom left hand side, select the Windows Update tab and just select the Check for Updates tab with inside of here and download and install any of the accumulated 
updates just to ensure that your Windows 11 installation is completely up to date with all of the small bug fixes and optional updates completely installed for the best experience possible. If you guys have enjoyed this video and found it useful, please do leave a like and a comment down below to help out with the YouTube algorithm to have this video pushed to as many people as possible as it really does help. If you enjoy this style of content and wish to stay up to date with the channel, for further guides such as Windows 11 performance guides, game optimization videos, or if you're looking to download and install Windows 11 and apply it to a USB stick in which it can then be installed to other PCs, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to be notified instantly as soon as those videos go live.